Hey everyone, how are you? It's Sandy Sedmack Engel. I am the chairman of the board of the Rittenhouse Square Fine Arts Show, and I'm here hosting the Five O'Clock Club, the Thursday night Five O'Clock Club. Um, we are trying something different this week, so fingers crossed it's going to work. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a while. We are actually doing a live life drawing session. Um, I am here tonight with Kenyatta Ali from Washington, D.C. Hi, Kenyatta. And um, Kenyatta has agreed to be our model. A lot of, a lot of people ask me um, how life drawing sessions work, or I get a lot of artists saying, oh man, I haven't done that since college. And I am an encaustic painter. Most of my work is figurative. And I get a lot of my inspiration from these life drawing sessions. Um, the, of course, over the last year, everything, the world got a little crazy. So a lot of these sessions um, started happening through Zoom, which at first was a little unusual, but then it got to be really fun because you got to meet models and people from all over the world. Um, and I just, I really enjoyed it. So I want to try to share this with you guys. So in just a second, my, the Carrie Sacco, um, my friend and board member is here behind the scenes with us. I cannot see the chat, but please ask questions and Carrie will be um, directing the questions to myself or Kenyatta um, as we go along and draw. Because usually, usually these sessions are a couple hours long and um, I'm not talking a lot when I'm drawing. So this is gonna be a new experience for me as well. So Kenyatta is gonna pose. Um, let's turn my face video off. Bye. Hi, <laughs> okay, you are Sandy. Moore. We can hear you. I know. <laughs> I know, but there's two Rittenhouse squares. Yeah, I'm not that, there we go. There well done, we Carrie. Go. Okay, so um, we are going to start with, when you do life drawing, you always start with gesture poses, which are, you want to tell us a little bit what, about what gestures are, Kenyatta? Well, gestures are simple, simple, subtle poses that you can do in your everyday time when you're not even really thinking. You do gesture poses involuntarily, most of us. Right. So, yeah. Okay. Most comfortable poses. Okay. Great. So we're going to get started. We're going to do five one minute poses. You guys are going to watch me draw. I hope you're drawing along with me. And Kenyatta is going to let us know when she's going to change the pose. So you let us know when you're ready. Ready. Okay. So now the idea when you do a gesture, I'm trying to find where I am on the paper, is to not get overly caught up in, oh my goodness, what does her hair look like? What does her hand look like? You've only got 60 seconds to work with these. So as you can see, I'm, I'm all about the line and the movement I'm working fast. I'm, I'm looking at, at pretty much just like the outline of Kenyatta's body. And I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying to get that that shape down, that movement. I'm trying to figure out the proportions. And also gestures are an amazing way to just loosen up. Um, a lot of artists will say, and you can tell me to, to hush up, Kenyatta, if you've got to change. <laughs> um, a lot of artists complain that when they work, they get too tight. And gestures are a great way to, to break that pattern. Okay. And this is our second pose. And if, if you guys are drawing along with us, I hope you're on um, like a laptop instead of your phone and you can, you can zoom in so you can really see um, the gorgeous lines that, that Kenyatta is creating for us. And I'm drawing right now with, with uh, vine charcoal. Um, it's nice and soft. It's, it's easy to work with and it, it enables me to kind of easily smudge the shapes, 
it's just one of my favorites. It comes in a, in a lot of different weights or softnesses and the softer it is, find another piece. Uh, yeah, you can see the softer it is, usually the darker it is and the more you can, you can smear it around. Next pose. Okay, we're on pose number three, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. You're making it look easy. That's a comment. No, me or Kenyatta? <laughs> <laughs> it's always, I can't tell you guys what a pleasure it is to work um, with a model like Kenyatta who really, um, you know, she thinks through the poses um, that, that she's sharing with us, really gives us a lot of line and movement. It makes such a huge difference. I've had some models who, you know, maybe are, you look at them and you're like, wow, they're just so traditionally gorgeous, but they don't, they don't know how to strike a pose. And Kenyatta does, but you can, you can see how quick we're going. Um, I feel like I should try to draw upside down so you guys can see that, <laughs> but that's not gonna happen. All right, this is our fourth one minute pose. And there, you know, another change that we had on Zoom, oftentimes when we do these life drawing sessions, the, the models are, are nude, um, but we have acclimated and we do these, uh, we, we call these lightly draped sessions um, so that you can still see you know, the beautiful lines in the model's body, but the models don't have to worry about, um, you know, their images being shared with people that they do not want to share them with. So you can see I'm, I'm giving her probably a little more, a, a little more curve and hit than she has in real life. I have a tendency to, uh, to make my my figures a little a little juicier and curvier than they may be. Oh, that one's really pretty. It would be so fun if we could figure out a way. If if any of you guys are out there drawing with me, um, I don't know if if Facebook allows you to share imagery in chat, but that would be super fun if. Um, if you guys were out there and you wanted to, as we work together today, you wanted to share, share what you're working on so that I don't feel like a complete crazy person talking to myself. At least I know Kenyatta and Carrie are here. <laughs> All right. So this, this is so fun for me. I actually, a lot of artists in life drawing, um, can't wait until we get to the longer poses so they can do more, more detail work. But I love the gestures. If it were up to me, I would probably, in a three hour drawing session, I'd do an hour of these short little gestures. I think that was five. That was five. So we're going into three twos? I think so. Um, maybe, maybe, yeah, let's do three and see how we feel. Um, I'm going to switch to a different medium. I'm going to, I'm going to use Conti now. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> and um, Conti is kind of like a hard compressed pastel, kind of a, a combination between, yeah, like a hard pastel pencil. Ready? Oh, yes. You can, I'll just keep talking, lady. You just tell me when you're ready. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is gonna be two minutes, which you're gonna notice it doesn't sound really like it's that much longer of a pose, but that extra 60 seconds, there we go, um, can make a, a big difference. You can see I'm taking a little more time finding the lines in her arms. Uh, 
And she's got that really nice twist of the hip. You got the belly button. Got the belly button. So is there, um, do you work with kind of like tangent points and measuring or you kind of go just with kind of instinct? Um, I think at this point, it's probably a lot of instinct, but if you've noticed, I, I always start with the head. Um, and when I'm, when I'm doing gestures, and even you'll see if we do some longer poses, I always try to get the entire form together to, onto the piece of paper before, oops, broke the conti, before I start to put some detail in. Um, it's a really good idea, especially when you're learning to draw figures to kind of look at your proportions. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people tell me they have a really hard time drawing, drawing either portraits or the body. And I often tell them um, it's because you're drawing what you think you're seeing as opposed to what you're really seeing. Okay, this is our second two minute. Oh, that's lovely. So like you, you can see on this pose, it's weird for me getting used to trying to draw where you guys can see because my, my it's like backwards for me. Here we go. Um, I mean, your instinct might be to make, make the back of her head really. Yes, that way. That okay, way thank you really large, but most of it's covered up. I mean, you can, you can see like, no, which way, Carrie? That way and back towards you, back towards your there area. There we go, yeah. okay. Um, really, you're just seeing a little tiny bit of her face right here. And most of this is the back of her head, her hair piled up on top of her head. And then there's a lot of foreshortening going on with these arms. Like your, your instinct may be to make this arm like really long and oh, she's leaning against a wall. So it's really long like that, but it's, it's really not, it's, it's really short. So look at those, look at those dimensions. It's a good thing, you know, the old art school trick, like hold your pencil up or like you were saying, measure and look at what those proportions really are. But doing, doing these quick couple minute pose, these fast gestures, this, this is really just a time to loosen up, um, give yourself some freedom, like I was saying, to draw what you see as opposed to, um, to overthinking it. And it just really, it loosens you up. It gets you going for the rest of the session. I, I often finish a life drawing session and then I'm, I'm completely inspired to to paint because I feel nice and loose. I've got some good inspiration. This is another two, right, Kenyatta? Yep. Oh, that's pretty. And I think um, we're gonna be sharing um, Kenyatta's information also in our chat. So if any of you guys wanted to check out the beautiful work she does, or if you're ever looking, um, looking for a great model to hire that can give you some, some great inspiration. And that again, the, one of the positives that came out of the pandemic is, is getting, getting to work with artists and getting to work with models that you may never, you may never have met. My instinct is to push this paper the other way and that's just that's not, not working. So with proportions, there are some general rules once you get into long poses, probably. Yeah, um, there are. I mean, there's a lot of um, when you when you look at a face, um, people tend to like put eyes on the on the top of your head. The eyes are um, 
you know, your eyes are really in the middle of your face. Um, if you look at maybe when we break this pose, um, if you look at how long um, your arms actually are, a lot of people will, if you start the arm here, they'll think your arms finish like, you know, at your belly button, you know, how little kids draw the little, the little hands, um, but your arms um, really go down like my, my, the tips of my fingertips almost touch the top of my knee. So there we go. Three. Oops, three, right? Yes. Yeah. Do you think we could do two more short poses where maybe um, we can like really kind of obvious ones where we can really look at the proportions in your body? Because people seem to be talking about, you know, asking questions about that. So maybe something a little more direct, a little more head on kind of, kind of like you're doing. Um, okay. So we can show people. Yeah, another two, please. That'd be great. So now you can see. Pull the paper towards you. <coughs> towards. Yep. yep. And then the, uh, the now move ah, it. And draw over here. Yeah. <laughs> this good. is so weird, you guys. Yep, uh, that's right. good. Okay. But, but you can see. Yes. Here's her head. You know, I'm gu I guess I'm not really a great one to answer these like rules of proportion. I, I draw more from like feel and observation. And I think, um, I think the more you actually look, measure, observe, the more you're going to find out the, the human body is a little different than maybe you think it is. Like you can say this, this is the end of her fingers right here and her knee, if I'm drawing her knee is really like right here, you know? So the arms are really, really long. Somebody named Randy Angle is watching. Randy Angle. And he said, it? Jasper says hi. <laughs> Randy is my husband and Jasper is my blind little Boston Terrier who's probably <laughs> barking his face off right now. Awesome. Okay. Is anybody out there drawn? Is anybody commenting that they're actually drawing? I don't see that yet. Let us know if you're if you're joining us. I'm going to take a quick two seconds and, and wash my hands off, guys. I'm really messy and I'm covered with charcoal. Jill Banks is drawing. Yay. What's that? Jill Banks is drawing. Yay, Yay Jill Banks. Go, oh, Jill Banks. Jill Banks is one of our artists um, that, that participates in our show. She'll be in our June 2020 virtual edition, which is uh, June 4th, 5th, and 6th. So I think now, Kenyatta, let's move on to a couple of five-minute poses. Does that work for you? You want me to break this one? Oh, you know, you, you keep going. I'm sorry. I was washing my hands and not paying attention. So we have Kenyatta's info in listed in the chat. Um, we have her Instagram handle to it's at k underscore n y i s h a i'm just repeating that for the recording because sometimes the chat doesn't show up when this goes to um our youtube channel how long do we have on this one kenyatta okay. 24 seconds oh okay 
So I'm not, I'm not going to attempt to start now. I'm going to wait. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is something we've been wanting to try for a really, a really long time. So I'm I'm really hoping that people are jumping in. And you know what what a great time to if you're nervous about joining a life drawing session, this would be a great time because nobody can see you. You're just at home except for me. Everybody gets to see me draw. Um, but you know you can you can be at home drawing and just do your own thing and not be self conscious. Not not compare yourself to anybody else in the room. Is this going to be our five, Kenyatta? Yep. Is there any way you could possibly move a little closer to your camera? <laughs> 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 That's great. Okay. All right, guys. So this is, we're going to have five whole minutes on this one. Oh, that crop with your upper body and your face would be a gorgeous longer pose also. So, are you able to do this um, live into your encaustics or do you have to work from your sketches? Oh, that, that, you know, that's a good question. For a long time, I, um, I'm not in my old studio. I'm in the process of moving my studio into a new building. Um, I, I worked, I used my sketches as reference. So I would go to these drawing sessions and I would, um, you know, take, take what I thought was my best work and just pin it all around the studio and use it, you know, as reference and inspiration. But lately, I, I have been working more directly into the encaustic. For those of you who aren't familiar, um, you can check out my website. SandraSedmacAngle.com. Um, encaustic is painting um, on wooden panels with layers of beeswax. You work with it when it's in liquid form and carve, scrape, fuse it together. So I have been prepping small boards and actually drawing right directly onto the, you know, onto the panels in the encaustic. Another thing that I never, ever would have been able to do in a regular life drawing session, um, you know, pre, pre pandemic, because, you know, you, you would go to someone's studio or go to, go to an art space um, and draw with a whole group of artists and, um, dragging the, the palettes I work on are heated. And, you know, like I said, the wax is in liquid form. So I couldn't, it's not, it's not an easily transportable medium. Um, but lately I have, I have been able to work directly, you know, onto the panels with the wax. I'm going to do, we probably still have a couple minutes here. Two minutes. Two minutes. So I'm actually going to, as I was saying, I kind of like the shorter poses and you can see I, I finished up this quick, good, good guggly muggly, which way to go? That's, that's good. <laughs> Keep it okay. towards your body. Okay. So I'm going to do a super fast, I do this a lot in the longer poses. I'm just concentrating more on on a, it's a little bit hard to see because we're, we're doing a Zoom meeting into Facebook Live and the, the screens are kind of tiny. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And I'm, I'm trying to do like a, a quick gesture kind of of her, her head, her hair. Just really trying to be really free with it. <coughs> Excuse me. I probably just coughed into everybody's ears. <laughs> <laughs> My allergies have just been making me crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So another thing, while I'm drawing her shoulder here, I don't know how easy this is for you guys to see. Um, her shoulder is actually kind of covering up her face a little bit. And you can see I've, I've made the, the dip of where her um, arm meets her back way too far back. It's actually going to start a lot closer up here. And then her back. It's curving. Okay. So I think we're gonna do, is it one more five and then we'll have a, a little break while you regroup? Is that, we just did one five, correct? Yep. Okay. So you guys are really seeing how it goes. Um, as you're in a, a life drawing session, working with the models, the artists and the models usually work together. There's a lot of conversation. <laughs> I'm gonna flip this paper over. Yes, that's perfect right there. Bring it towards your body a little bit. There you go. There we go. Okay, this is a, this is a fun pose. So you see, I'm always starting with the head. So you've gotten to work with um, sesh drawing sessions with people from um, Europe and everything, haven't you? Oh yeah, it's been it's been really cool. I mean, like I said, I live I live in Baltimore, Maryland. Kenyatta is in D.C., which is not that far. Um, but I don't I don't know that the two of us ever would have had a chance to work together because you you model mostly in the D.C. area, do you not? Yeah, DC, Maryland, Northern Virginia. Yeah, um, but I, I've joined a couple of, of drawing groups that are based in, in Europe. One that I especially love, it's called Life Drawing Plus, um, is based in, I think the woman that operates it, she is Spanish, but she lives in Manchester, England. And we've had, um, models from all over the world. We once had um, during Carnival, we went to um, this kind of like, like a bar, like a bistro in Rome where they literally put on a show for us. The, um, what would you call the guy who runs the show? I'm not used to talking this much while I'm drawing. <laughs> Um, like the maestro, I guess, Yeah, came out the, smoking yeah. cigarettes and played the piano and, um, uh. you know, models came out like fully dressed in the carnival masks, music was playing. It was, it was just, you know, it, it made, it made you feel a little bit like you were able to travel um, when you just really couldn't go you know, anywhere, but your own studio for the most part. I think Renee Schreiner is drawing. Oh, also. that's awesome. Hi, Renee. She said, thank you. Haven't done this since college. Ah, see, I told you people, people are always saying, oh my goodness, I haven't, I haven't done this. And, you know, since I was in college, since I went to art school or, um, People, people want to give it a try and they just maybe feel a little, um, a little shy, a little inhibited. So these, these Zoom groups are really a, really a fun way to kind of, to get yourself back into it. I know um, one of the, I think it might've been the group I was just talking about. No, actually it was Kenyatta, were you part of, um, I think you the group you model a lot for, which is is it DC Collective? It's uh, the DC Art Model Collective. Yeah, didn't you guys do kind of a marathon where it was? It was like literally like an eight-hour drawing session. Yeah, 
was yeah. the Washington Studio School. That's yeah. That see, there's so there's so many. I've I've been able to participate in so many of these wonderful um, events. I just can't keep them straight. Mm. But I know like um, another friend of mine, one of our other board members, Sharon Strine, was like, oh, she does figurative work as well. And she ended up joining that all day model marathon and, and had a ball. And you know, sometimes, sometimes there's just a couple of people, sometimes there's 70 people, you know, but it's on Zoom. So you can all be together and draw at your own pace. Okay. And most of these are, they're not Facebook groups. They're just their own separate groups. Right. Correct? Yeah, they are actually, um, they'll put links out and you pay to participate. Thank you, Kenyatta. I'm going to try to turn this my five minute around so you guys can see it a little better. This this will be interesting. I'm also working on super huge paper, which I Shall love, I? but I also thought it would be easier. I'm going to turn Kenyatta's um, video off. Yeah, she's going to um, come and she's going to do a closer pose for us. Sharing this imagery is harder than I thought it was going to be, Carrie Sacco. No, it's working. Okay. So, you know, that's that's a five minute pose. And, and I mean, that is something actually that, you know, I might crop this out, put it in a mat and a frame. And um, I really enjoy this kind of work. So I would hang this in my house. And um, the nice thing is, you know, the model's taking a break and I could actually, I'm drawing upside down people. Um, I'm using some colored Conti here and just go in and maybe add some splashes of color um, just from memory. Maybe give her some, a little red earring, a little pop of a lip to kind of give this super, super loose drawing a little more definition. But yeah, this life drawing is one of my favorite, favorite things to do. So while I'm going to get some, my hands one more time. Carrie, do we have any more questions? Um, no, we don't. Is we any can, was anyone brave enough to share the work? I don't know if they're if our Facebook uh, I don't page think would they allow can in the chat. Oh, that's unfortunate. But we can talk about the um, June virtual show. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay. Do you want to pop my other screen back on, or I can? I can lean down and say hi. <laughs> um, I'm. It's saying ask to start. Or maybe I. Maybe I can ask to start video. Ask to start my video. Yeah, our show. There we go. Hi. <laughs> you have to see if you have smudges on your face. I. I, I you good. know, I was just kind of double checking because I washed <laughs> my hands really quick. Usually, um, I'm covered in charcoal i'm a i'm a i'm a dirty messy artist i know some artists um can paint and not get a drop of paint on them but not so much for me but anyway while kenyatta is getting ready for our what will probably be our last pose i'm going to tell you guys about the show that we've got planned for you in june um unfortunately the city of philadelphia is not quite ready for us to uh be physically back in the park we are really hoping um, that that's gonna change for our September show. But for June, we've put together an amazing virtual show. Um, our artists are excited about it. We're excited about it. It is June 4th, 5th and 6th. It's gonna be all online. Um, so you will you can check out our website, which hopefully someone is sharing here in the chat. I can't see the chat. Um, yes. And. Uh, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. Um, you guys are on the Facebook page and Instagram, we're at Rittenhouse Square Art. So 
the show is going to officially open Friday morning. We have live events from Friday morning at 10 o'clock until Sunday at five. We've got um, every hour on the hour, we've got a different artist doing a demonstration and an artist talk on Facebook Live, which is going to be a lot of fun. It's super interactive like this. You can ask questions. And then on Instagram, we're doing artist interviews every hour. So you can join us. And those are also interaction. You inter interaction interactive. You can pop in and ask questions, get to know our artists a little bit more, hear about their process, their inspiration. Uh, what else are we doing, Carrie? Oh, we're having an online gallery. So you'll be able to shop for art right on our website. Um, so all of our artists are going to submit four pieces that you can buy directly from us. And what am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. How many artists are participating? There are 101 artists participating in this show. And then I just found out the other day, um, thanks to Carrie and our outreach team, we, are, we were able to include some student artists as well. Um, I think we ended up we usually have about 20, but I think we ended up with what, seven this year, Carrie? Seven or eight. Yeah. yeah. So some of them are graduates from um, 19 and 20. So we'll have kind of an emerging artist and a, also a current student. And they'll have, um, they'll have two pieces in their own online gallery as well. Yeah. So that'll be a fun way to, to check out some new fresh artists. Kenyatta, you let me know when you're ready to start our last pose because I know you've got, she's got a hard deadline because she's so busy. She has to model gonna, for someone else. I'm going to do the ask finish. to start video, right. Kenyatta. I, I'm ready. Yep. Okay. All right. So, should I move it back further? Or? No, I, I kind of think that's nice. Can we remember the other day we kind of did a little... I kind of forgot. You had, you had <laughs> that's one, okay. You, you can had do, one you can shoulder just, dip down. Yeah. Or, Oh, that's, yeah. is, that, yeah. is that comfortable for 10 minutes? Yeah, I can do it. Okay. That's another thing. Um, so Carrie, I, I can turn off oh. my, my face video again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, I'll see you at the end. Um, it's, it's really, um, I've had to sit in as a model in a couple of, of the drawing sessions that I've gone to. You know, the model might be running a little late or was sick. And it's really hard work. Um, it, you know, some people say, oh, they're, they're just sitting there holding these poses, especially in these twisty, um, you know, interesting ways. It's, it's a lot of work. I think I held a pose for about five minutes and my, my like legs were shaking. <laughs> okay. So now we've got 10 minutes on this. I think uh, maybe Kenyatta, Kenyatta, you can tell us when we've got like two left. Okay. So you can see for this, I'm starting a little, a little more slowly. I'm still starting on her head or Carrie can probably, if you can't see your timer, Carrie can give us a, a general idea. Um, but I'm, I'm still starting really loose. I am trying to to find like focus points. Um, I'm gonna do an art school thing. You can see this, this arc that I'm making. Can, can you guys see, Carrie, can people see? Yes. Okay. Um, so this, this is a good example. This is, this is where the line of her eye is. And oftentimes, you know, here's her, her top of her head and her chin. You can see her eyes are kind of halfway down her face. A lot of people would have a tendency to put them. Way up here. Um, but so when I when I'm working on a longer pose. I still start. Loose. And sketchy, but I tend to put in more areas of contrast. And this, I'm, I'm using a really soft piece of giant vine charcoal. Where is the camera? You can see how that just kind of smudges right around in my fingers. 
because I want to start developing some some shapes and some patterns, some contrast. I really hope you guys are enjoying this. I always enjoy um, working from a live model. It's one of my my most favorite things ever. Um, so I guess it's a good thing I'm a figurative artist. <laughs> one of my most favorite things is drawing from a model. Um, I have a lot of problems. Here is her chin. Chins, she's got her face at such an interesting angle. Sometimes uh, getting, getting the, the chin in the right angle is, is a challenge. I'm also, I don't usually talk this much, so I'm distracting myself. Um, but you can see, I, I put her ear here and that's wrong. It's actually much further back. Here's her eyes, here's some of her hairline and you can see her ear doesn't really, doesn't really happen until all the way back here. And there's the beautiful line of her neck. And I think a lot of people would tend on this side of her face to want to draw her neck really long like this. I wish I could hold my phone really close. But actually, you can see her shoulder and her back are almost coming up, um, almost starting like right underneath the bottom of her lip because she's got this beautiful twist on her arm. And then on this side, um, one might think that this shoulder over here would be up much closer to her ear as it would be in real life. But because she's got this twist on her body, we've got kind of this angle. It's going back a little bit. And then her arm is coming forward. Did you study um, figurative work in, in college or how did you get into it later? I, no, you know, it's, it's funny. I, um, I have drawn people pretty much my entire life. I don't, I, you know, I've always been really interested in the, in the human form, even when I was a little kid. Um, you know, sometimes I think when I, when I, and those of you who know me now are going to go, no, but I was really a shy kid. I, I, you know, I was like afraid of the world. I, I was afraid of, you know, what other people thought about me. And I think, I think drawing was a real escape for me. Um, you know, it, it was a way for me to like create my own little world <laughs> where everything was, was okay. And um, maybe because I'm just kind of thinking out loud here, maybe because I was so shy, that's, maybe that's why I love to draw people because um, it taught me how to relate to them or made me, made me feel like I had, you know, a, a connection to people where, Otherwise, maybe I was too afraid to, to reach out. Wow, I'm getting all deep here. <laughs> okay, so I am going to take some of the Conti, which is like a hard, hard pressed combination of like, it's like a really hard pastel just to get some, some super dark blacks in here. Is there like a figurative artist whose work, you know, like one of the masters that you're like, oh my gosh, that's who I um, you know, you want know, to channel when, or, or a contemporary? Well, I always, a lot of people, you know, will make fun, but I, I, I always and still do love the Impressionists. Um, I, I 
loved Degas work when I was younger. I don't know if it was like the dancers or the horses or the light. I mean, Carrie, Carrie is an impressionist painter. So um, you would agree with me that they're yes. pretty fabulous. Um, and I love Toulouse Lautrec's work. You know, I, I, I always have an element of, of, you know, a little bit of, I don't know if the word I want to use is, is body, you know, a little evocative, a little bit bad girl in a lot of my work. Um, it's kind of real life. Yeah. You know, not all pretty imposed. Exactly. And, you know, that that's another thing that's really important to me is that is showing showing women that, you know, just because you don't look like a cover of Vogue or a runway model, like you are beautiful. I've, I've, I've painted so many portraits and done so many commissions for um, women who, who I don't think ever would have thought that um, they wanted to, what's the word I'm looking that for? One minute, is that what you said, Kenyatta? Yes, one minute. Oh, see, I'm running my mouth so much. I haven't, I haven't drawn that much. Um, but there, there's nothing better than, than like doing, doing a commission, doing a painting of a, of a, a woman who maybe didn't see herself as beautiful. And then she sees the piece that you create. You know, we get to do this as artists and sees herself through someone else's eyes. Um, and really gets to feel special and beautiful. Every woman deserves that, don't you think? Yep. Oh man, now I'm bummed out because I know we're almost done and I'm running out of time. Looks so. great. I'm gonna be dirty McDirt ball here in a minute. So you can see how this like the soft vine charcoal that I was using just, just lets you create all these beautiful shadows without, you know, without overthinking it. Um, so you can, you can get a lot down on the paper in a little bit of time and we're done. Kenyatta, thank you so much. <laughs> You're very welcome. This was, this Thank was you. so much fun. I'm going to see if I can turn this around. Um, hold on. I'm going to start my video in one sec here. I want to turn this around okay. and see if everybody can see it before Kenyatta has to leave us. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look great? That is lovely, Sandy. Okay. The, now the big paper is working against me. But <laughs> you, can see, like, you know, how much, how much feeling and expression you can get down in just a few minutes. Wow. Now, and you know, now I'm gonna I'm gonna feel inspired to go maybe make a painting of this this drawing. So all right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start my video and maybe turn off my sketch pad video. I can't do it, Carrie, you're the host. Okie doke. Okay. Well, Kenyatta, I just want to thank you so much. This was so much fun. Thank um, you all. Well, and thank you for your patience as, as we learned, tried to figure out how to do this. And, there, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Next year, our next week's five o'clock club is Jill Banks. Should we? Oh, uh, what's Jill going to be doing? I'm not sure. Jill, if you put it in the chat, I can let everybody know. Yeah. Um, Jill was, Jill was one of our artists drawing with us here today. So yeah, come back next week and check her out. And these, these um, five o'clock clubs stay on our Facebook page under our video section. And then we also um, translate them over to our YouTube channel, the Rittenhouse Square Fine Art YouTube channel. So if you guys want to watch this again, share it with your friends. Um, and if this was something that you thought was fun and you'd like to do it again, just let us know. So, um, all right, Kenyatta, we're going to let you go. Thank you so much. Thank you Bye, all. Everyone. It was a pleasure. And we're, we're going to wrap up in just a sec. I just want to remind everybody, um, come back for the five o'clock clubs. Start following us on Facebook and Instagram and go to our website and check out all the amazing things that we have planned for the June show, even though we can't 
be back in the park. Um, we are still putting on a hell of an event. There's going to be art for three days straight. Um, our artists will appreciate it. We appreciate it. The show needs and really loves your support. Um, so come see us. I think I'm going to call it a wrap for the night unless there's any more questions, Carrie. Um, Jill, uh, bah, bah, bah. she's painting an interior. That's all I, yes. Ah. Yes. We'll okay. See. Now everybody's going to have to come back next week to find out what she's doing. Okay. So I'm try to successfully end this. Thank you but for your help, Carrie. Good night, everyone.